we're back down here in Florida. Stay tuned. <laughs> Back down in Florida, I actually I'm going home. This week has been uh, a heck of a week, so I decided it was time to take a little time off. Um, we left off, delivered on Monday. Um, I was up in Ohio, and I was scheduled for, I had a pickup, uh, picking up a Corning, uh, that little foam insulation. I selected that load on Friday in the afternoon. The broker, neglected to send the email off to get an appointment. So as I drove there, um, I pulled off at a rest area about 20 miles away and called the broker and said, hey, I don't have an appointment and this place is by appointment only. She says, well, I'll send them an email. Uh, how far are you? So I told her and she's like, I'll oh, just go ahead and drive on in, park in lot two and then walk on over. They like us, so they'll, they'll, they'll load you. Right. Uh, I could park over to lot two, go in there, and told them, you know, the scenario, look, I booked it Friday, they didn't set the appointment. He said, this is a problem. So they were looking that they wasn't going to be able to load me till like 4.30, 5 o'clock at night. I said, nope. Called the broker, said schedule it for the morning. So that's what they did. So I didn't get to pick it up till the next morning. So that put me a day back on revenue there. Um... got that delivered and then my next load was a piece of machinery and it was in North Carolina well when I go to pick it up the guy doesn't have a forklift there the forklift was supposed to be delivered the day before so as I'm there he's scrambling calling to get a forklift to be delivered then this is out in the middle of nowhere North Carolina I ended up waiting about three hours to yeah it was about three hours and then finally they, they, they'd gotten they, they came with a forklift so we got it all loaded up it was a tarp load, eight foot tarps and so we got that by the time we got done it was supposed to deliver at 8 o'clock yesterday morning I told them that ain't happening um, as I would have hit rush hour traffic and like Charlotte area, Raleigh and all that. So I was like, no, nah, that's not happening. So I stopped and stayed in North Carolina, got up the next morning, really about four o'clock in the morning and was able to get it uh, down to Alabama uh, by two o'clock in the afternoon. So I told them, you know, I'll be there at two. Um, I got there at one. They didn't have a forklift. They were waiting for the forklift to be delivered, which was fine because that gave me time to get it all untarped, unstrapped, unchained. I got all that done and the forklift the, the guy with the, the truck with the forklift arrives but the air in the truck doesn't work so they can't get the forklift off the trailer so we had to wait 40 minutes until they could get another truck out there to hook up and it actually ended up being about an hour and then they finally got me unloaded there the load that I have right now I found myself, um, I, I told Tim, look, I'm looking to go home. He found a couple of loads that were going too far south into Florida because I dropped my trailer in Wildwood. For a lot of you who don't know, um, the Chrome Shop 75, you can lease yourself a spot there, which is what I do. It's 100 bucks a month. Um, or you can pay, I think it's like $10 a day if you're just going to you know, leave it there for a few days. But I, you know, if, if I'm home for a week, 
70 bucks, 100 bucks, might as well just, you know, do that. So that's what I do. Um, anyway, we, uh, I told Tim, you know, that's what I wanted to do. The, but the loads he was finding were, were going too far, we went on, all the way to Homestead. I'm like, I'm not going to take a load all the way to Homestead. The other one was to Fort Myers, or to Fort Myers, and then turn after to drive all the way back to Wildwood to drop the trailer, only to drive all the way to Miami to go home. It wasn't happening. It was lunchtime yesterday, and I knew, you know, at 12 o'clock, from 12 to 1, the coordinators, they go to lunch. It's their, their lunch break, so I understand that. So I started just hitting refresh and keeping the app up, you know, and kept hitting refresh, and this load popped up. And so I didn't even wait to, to call Tim. I called the broker directly. I said, hey, I'm interested in this load. Uh, it was picking up in Jasper, Tennessee. It was about 70 miles from where it was I delivered. And it was coming down here to Jacksonville. She said that uh, she called me back on the load. And she did. She called me back. She says, well, here's the deal. We already have a Mercer truck there today that's getting loaded. What they've got for... Um, is this is whatever they can't load on the other truck on the truck that's there that was there that day you have two hours and, it, and 32 minutes of remaining drive time and it's not a for sure load she said we don't know that, it, that uh, they're gonna they're actually gonna do it so i can take you off of it there was nothing else showing up anyway so i said now leave me on the load um and she says okay i'll call you back later this afternoon or first thing in the morning so she called me back uh, later yesterday afternoon told me the load was a go it's supposed to be a two drop here in Jacksonville uh, it's just galvanized steel pieces so I was good with that and then just as I was getting ready to pull in there she calls me and I'm thinking great they're going to tell me that they canceled the load and she says no what they, she says uh, they uh, you're only going to go to one place so you, you just got a little bit of stuff that you're going to be picking up and we're not going to change the rate we're going to leave the rate alone sweet so I got there and I picked up, what is it, 78 pieces of rail, um, and I deliver it, and I'm delivering it tomorrow, which is on a Saturday, and then head home from there. So this whole last week, you know, actually this whole run that I've had has been probably one of the worst runs since I've been out here, period. And, and, and I'd say, and, and it wasn't any one person's fault. I mean, you're just talking from... Uh, fictitious loads being up on the load board to uh, them putting the wrong prices in and trying to come back and lower the price of the loads to uh, the the shippers the receivers just not ready I was like that's just enough I decided you know it's just time to go home and regroup uh, I needed to get some more dental work done anyway I need them to finish the, the root canal that they started the last time I was home so that's what we're going to do. We're going to head home and then might take about a week off and then we'll head back out and start it over again and see what happens. So uh, you guys won't probably see a video next week. I uh, appreciate you guys watching, listen to me rant a little bit. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, I don't care. And everybody be safe out there and we will see you probably in about two weeks.